<laughs> Can you see this person here? That's my youngest daughter. Look, she found this fantastic magic mug somewhere. I don't know where she could have got that from. You see that? It's got the mule on one side and the mule hat on the other. That was a Christmas present. And that's, um, this is the daughter that draws the mule and draws the hat. So there we go. A little bit shy. <laughs> You're going to stay there the whole video. <laughs> Welcome to Midnight Mule FPL. I'm Midnight Mule and this is the video where I look at what I'm going to be doing and how the league's going, the Midnight Mule FPL League. It's my second video of the night because it's such a short turnaround and I thought there's no point doing this after work tomorrow because by the time I've got it up, the week would have started. So I'm going to look at what happened in game week 17 and what my plans are for game week 18. So the Midnight Mule FPL League. Top scorer this week was Obito. That's the name of the team. The manager is... A, a, a Ravin. I'm awful with names. I'm really sorry about this. Aravind Kumar, I think, is the name. And Obito, I think, is the name of the team. And they scored a massive 107 points, which is obviously very good. This is their team. I see points all over the place. Obviously, Harland captain... 14 from Rashford, 12 from Salah, 12 from Trippier, 9 from Saka, 8 from Martinelli, 8 from Shaw, 6 from Martial. Great team. And look at that, didn't leave points on the bench, so they made the right choices for who to play. Top of the league is still Jacob Eriksson with, <laughs> with Skog's Glanton IF, currently on 1074 points. This was their team after they made all the changes with the uh, effective wild card. Haaland 26, Trippier 12, Rashford 14, Kane 7, Shaw 8, Martinelli 8, Kepa 9. So a pretty good team there, but they've got James. What are they going to do with James? I guess we have to wait until tomorrow evening to find out what they're going to do. On the bench, also nothing bad on the bench. Greenwood, but no one's going to be playing Greenwood. Especially against Man City, so uh, no problems there. I'm right down in 42nd, which I've actually got a red arrow, even though my score was above average. But that's because we've had lots of people joining the league and they've been joining at a higher position than me. So that's really good to see. So there I am, down in 42nd on 962 points. So my team, this is how my team looks. Uh, I've got, obviously, Harlan captain, Rashford 14, Trippier 12... Almiron 8, Martinelli 8, Martial 6. I was hoping for a lot more from Fernandez, and I intend to keep him for another two weeks and I'm hoping for a good score. He's a good player as is De Bruyne. But I guess we'll have to see. My bench, no real mistakes there. And Ketia was on the bench, got six points. But then if I didn't play Nketia, if I had played Nketia, I would have had Almer on the bench. So it wouldn't have made much difference really. I would never have played Nketia before Fernandez. Or De Bruyne. So I got 90 points. Game week rank of 1.4 million. My position's around the 1.4 million mark too. My first green arrow in a few weeks though. So that's a little bit nice. But that's probably a blip. And I'm probably still going to get a load of reds. But let's see how it goes. So 15 points from the 1 million mark. And 19 in front of 2 million. So still pretty much in the middle. 332 subscribers. Thank you very much. That's very, very nice. So this is from the Content Creators League. And if you go and look at it, it's on FPL Game Week. You can see the logo in the top corner there. When you look at it, even though you're not in the league, they're positioned where you would be in the league. So Ross, FPL Raptor, he's still the top guy there on 10.99. Ben Krellin, he's up in 10.88. He's doing very well. He's the one that, if you don't know of him, he predicts when they we're going to have double game weeks. And he certainly does a better job than a lot of people. I wouldn't know when to put the double game weeks. He obviously gets it wrong sometimes. But anyway, he's doing. He's second. Harry, who I listen to probably all his videos, he's very good. He's down in fifth, but still on the first page. I'm all the way on the second page in 51st. And the only good thing to say about that is I'm still beating FPL, mate. It's going to be a dark day when he overtakes me because he keeps saying how bad he's doing, which means obviously I'm doing bad as well. So my team, my 15 players as it stands. I have Kepper in goal. 
and then uh, Trippier, Cancelo, and I'm probably going to play Dunk. Probably going to keep James. I've not decided for sure yet. But I'm thinking if I have James available next week, then if I want to make two transfers, I can. And that'd be more useful and we'll have a bit more information. There's a remote chance I'll hold on to James for four or five weeks, but I probably won't. But anyway, by holding James, it means I pretty much have to play Dunk at home to Arsenal. And then across the middle, I'll be playing Almiron, De Bruyne, Rashford, Martinelli and Fernandez, And up front, Martial and Haaland. Which means on the bench, I've got Ward and Enketia again. But there's no one I'd play instead of Enketia, even though he's very good. Then James, who obviously won't actually be playing. And Bueno, who I don't know if he's going to start for Wolves or if he's actually going to start on the bench this time. My captain... As always, apart from game week one, it looks like it's going to be Haaland again. So there we go. Haaland gets to wear the old mule hat. And my vice captain for the first time ever is going to be Trippier. So there we go. That's my thoughts for game week 18. What I'm going to do, and I don't know what I'm going to do about James, but I've got a few hours to think about it. Maybe I'll have an epiphany tonight and then come up with something amazing tomorrow. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye. Is that okay? Oh. <laughs> She's beating me up. She thought I wasn't still recording. I get hit a lot by my girls. <laughs> Actually, to be, <laughs> to be fair, one of them doesn't hit me too much.